Hey everybody, BK Stunt here with you for episode 4 of The Walking Dead. Uh, what is this one? Around every corner, I think? Yeah. Pretty sure. Anyways. Episode 3 sure was a good one. I think episodes 3 and 5 are my favorite. 2's got a lot of good stuff in it as well. 4's got a lot of, uh, around every corner, yeah. Four's got a lot of uh, really good build-up. Let's do this. We, of course, have reached uh, Savannah, Georgia. By way of that uh, train. We lost a lot of good people along the way. Some heartbreaking scenes in Episode 3. Oh, man. And black screen. Sure does take it a long time to load. I guess it's trying to uh, think of all the decisions you've made and how it's going to construct its uh, cutscenes here. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Do 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 do. On The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? The fuck? much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Oh, man. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Yeah, it we is. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a... <laughs> ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. So yeah, a ton of bombshells in episode 3. Uh, yeah, no Katja, no Duck, no Carly, no Lily. They just pretty much ravaged our party. But they gave us a lot of new people, like, uh, well, you saw Omid there. Omid, how do you pronounce his name? You got Chuck, the uh, homeless guy. You got Omid's girlfriend. I guess it's his girlfriend, they don't really say doesn't really matter Oh man, his leg is still hurt. And as you can see, we've kind of confiscated uh, Can't I just hold it? Clementine's walkie-talkie. She's definitely not being very honest with us. Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. <laughs> How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. This choice doesn't really matter. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? Sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. Oh man, I can't believe Kenny is Kenny still... Still in his what right state of mind. Uh, that's not good. This city's not so dead after all. 
Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Doesn't sound so automatic. Definitely Someone's not automatic. There. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? And no answer. That figures. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not good. Time to go. God damn it. Run! Follow me! Oh, well, Chuck's pretty good with that shovel. Oh, man, Kenny. Kenny! Go ahead, shoot him. You got quite a while to do it. Them too close, don't you think? That's kind of a warm up right there. And man, that lag. Ugh. No, Ben, help her! Oh, what a jackass! God damn it! Okay, more shooting guys. You can use R1 or X. I'm trying to shoot the ones next to her, but you're not going to shoot them all. And that scene will happen no matter what. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Tuck? Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. Well, that's nice of him. Staying back to give us some time. It looked like he uh, handled that shovel pretty well. I'll get the door. So it looks like we ran into a backyard okay? down an alleyway. Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Well, we finally have control for the first time. Even though the uh, zombies can smell blood, they're not going to find us, so we have all the time we need back here. And as you guys know, I like to catch up with everyone. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. <laughs> well said. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. 
Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Yeah, I'll bet Kenny is pretty tore up. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. <laughs> we'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Oh, poor Omid. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I like Omid's humor. How's doing? Not great, so long as we're stuck out here. Will you please go figure out a way to get us inside? But I probably just pissed off Krista there. <laughs> Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Inside, inside, inside. That's all everyone cares about. Oh man, here's a uh, unmarked grave. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. Could be the dog buried there. Who knows? Well, I do, but you probably shouldn't at this point. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. And a shovel. The shovel is never not useful. Indeed. Shovel and a grave. Hmm, I wonder what will happen. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Yeah, it looks like a decent place. Nice and big. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Well, we can try to do a number of things with the door. Some of which involve the shovel and uh, monkey no wrench we have. That open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. But none of that is the answer. Instead, check out this pet door. See all the options you have? Ain't none of them gonna help. You wanna check out this pet door here. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> That's a pretty right, nice so uh, dog door. Where's the dog? And the game pretty much tells you where the dog is if you haven't figured it out already. Unmarked grave, shovel, locked doggy door. We got no choice. We're going to have to do this. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. And Clementine has to come over. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. Good call. Mm. 
She does not need to see this anyways. Or smell it. Oh god, the smell. Yeah, no joke. Okay, it is the dog, of course. We have to uh We have to try to interact with it. Oh man. Can't get it off. <laughs> oh man. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Oh my goodness. Well, that problem kind of took care of itself. The sound effects there were great, too. And I see the shovel. They won't let us uh, pick it back up again. Even though it's never not useful. Here goes nothing. Sure enough. Yes! God damn! See anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. There's no way your arm is that long. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. <laughs> Are you okay? Say something. Ta -da! <laughs> Good job. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Okay, well I guess we've uh, secured a base of operations from which to explore Savannah from. Nice big house. I guess we better make sure it's safe though. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? No point in lying, I think. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? That's true. How much sense does anything make in Not much of a point a of in doing that. There these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Hmm. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Yeah, if there's any there. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Nike, you need to tell us that. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. 
Okay, well, I think we've had enough fun for one video. Don't want these to go on too long, even though some of my other ones do. <laughs> well, I hope you guys will join me in the next video. We will explore the house, make sure it's safe, and probably head to the river. Okay, see y'all then.